Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about Tech Jansen's or the adventures of Tech Jansen. Uh, Stephen Colbert's uh, The Adventures of Tech Jansen. Sorry. <clears throat> um, for those of you who don't know that um, basically um, before Tech Jan before I mean before Stephen Colbert was in the, as host of the Late Show, uh, I'm sure most of you probably still know that, but for the few of you that have forgotten, or for those of you that are going to be watching this for like years in the future and have forgotten, before that he was uh, <clears throat> the host of the show called the the Stephen Colbert's The Colbert Report, a spinoff of The Daily Show. And you know he would be this, you know, conservative, uh, <clears throat> or he would play this like conservative character, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, and one of the jokes that he would have at least early on in his show was where he would take out this book called The Adventures of Tech Jansen or I think that's what it's, if I remember correctly but yeah <clears throat> and then eventually I guess it was popular so they got into the whole uh, made, made some animated shorts which I thought were kind of cool that kind of felt like a little neon flexi in the whole art style but yeah <clears throat> and now we get into the comic the comic, the, at least there's the main story, and then there's the side, or the little short stories that come after, um, called the Tech Jansen Case Files, but let me just start with the main story for now. The main story is that it's um, Tech Jansen, his robotic um, assistant guy named uh, Casey, and uh, bodiless manifestation of pure evil known as Mingar go throughout the galaxy doing various adventures and having to thwart the plans of the Opticlan Empire <clears throat> as well as having to regain his rank from the peoples at Alpha Squad because he was demoted because he kind of started the whole war with the Opticlan Empire in the first place so yeah in addition to that, there is another side plot thing where he's dealing with the event with uh, a war against the Antagaverse, an evil version of this universe. Because in addition to starting a war with that, he also started a war with the Antagaverse too. <clears throat> and uh, it, there is even this like amusing little fight with the evil Tech Jet that was uh, Jack Tanson. Yeah. Anyway, um. Overall, without spoiling too much, I'll just say it's really hilarious. I, I had a, quite a lot of laughs, and then, and if that wasn't enough, or not, well, I had laughs here and there. I'm sure many of you will probably laugh more than I did, but yeah. A anyway, but in addition to this, there's also the Tech Chance and Case Files that I mentioned earlier. And, you know, it's, you know, various, uh, Times during where Tech Janice Jansen is just being badass and cool and stuff, and um, I think my favorite one was the Express Ride, Express of Danger to Doom, and or no, it's Danger Express to Doom. I think, yeah. And it was just this, mostly it's just this extended fight sequence, but I thought it was a very good fight sequence, well told, and. Uh, and then there's this little plot twist at the end, which frankly had me laughing my butt off for quite a while afterwards. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, um, really the one thing that I can kind of nitpick or complain about is during the main Opticlon Antagaverse story, where it's like... They don't really, it's like they can't really make, the writers can't make up their minds on whether or not they want him to be like a genuine badass or just a dumbass that stumbles into greatness. And, but even then it's still pretty funny, you know, it, it doesn't really do, it's not really much of a problem, but yeah, it just, it did kind of bug me out for a, a little bit, <clears throat> but that's really all I can think of. Overall, though, my personal comfort level recommendation rating for 
the Tech Jansen Adventures or the Tech Jansen comic would have to be an overall, overall five out of five. It's just a funny, you know, well drawn, you know, work of fiction. If you find it, check it out. You'll laugh your butt off, in my opinion. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, next time we're going to be talking about comic versus manga again. About a uh, two adaptations of a book that I talked about a while back. <clears throat> and um, yeah. Anyway, um, until next time. See you later. Keep yourselves awesome and support your local bookstores, libraries, with patronage, donations, money, whatever, and have a nice day.